how do you suggest people tackle sort of figuring out what are the right what are the right um, actual products for them? Yeah, I mean, just to just to echo what you, what you said there, <clears throat> there's no particular right or wrong with any structure. Um, it is a list of just pros and cons in terms of what it, what an investor needs to consider when it, when making a, a, an investment decision. And I think ultimately it comes back to the investor understanding, looking at what they're trying to achieve. That that should be the first question that they're asking themselves, and then based on what they want to achieve. Uh, then there's some le- levels down in terms of what they need to do as next steps. Where can they go to get get information about the types of things that we're, to- we're talking about? So ASX has put significant resources, I suppose, into investment education. Um, firstly, on our on our website, we uh, clearly have uh, each of those different products that are available through the exchange. Um, you can see product pages for each of those products. Now, we have um, lots of information about the pros and cons for those products and how they work um, at quite a detailed level. We also have online courses. So we've got um, one of our most popular courses is how to get started in shares. But we also have courses around ETFs, for example, and they're, they're, they're very popular uh, with investors as well. Mm. We have a, a, an a ASX investment products or getting started with ASX investment products guide on our website as well. And that goes through all the different structures. In addition to that, we put together webinars um, from fund managers or or brokers in the market to talk about investment themes, but also just generally investment education, uh, just to help retail investors. Um, Ben, as you and I were talking at the beginning of of this session, um, ASX also conducts retail investor face-to-face education events. So we're currently in the middle of our ASX Investor Day Roadshow. Uh, This is where we go around to capital, capital cities in Australia and put on a full day of investment education on Saturdays, to investors. Um, we also make that available as a live stream uh, for anyone that can't attend in person. Uh, so th- those are some of the ways that we, we try to support uh, investor education. We think it's a really important thing to do. And also just as from an ASX um, being the, the Australian Securities Exchange perspective, we think it's also um, part and parcel of our role of running running the exchange. Absolutely. Yeah, it's great work. And I can personally vouch for that stuff. We were chatting a little bit um offline about um that and i know for myself when i was at i I think i was at uni or maybe it was before i even went to uni to learn about i just started getting into money and looking at those courses and uh yeah i was like a pig in mud looking at i looked at started with the basic stuff and then got into Mm. some of the there's even stuff on warrants and options and um, basically allows you to progress through at the level that you are and explains complex things in in a high level of detail but in a in a way that that most people can understand. So I'm a yeah. big believer in financial education, which is why I do uh, things like this. Um, but I think you're right that it is all just trade-offs and understanding what those trade-offs are. It's, that's the same whether you're choosing investments or you're choosing what to do for your overall money strategy, what property to buy, all of these sorts mm-hmm. of things. It's just you want to go in uh, with your eyes open so that you can make the, the best decision for you, which ultimately depends on you. And that's why there's no one size fits all approach to um, to being financial.